I guess you guys have never really been introduced to my setup yet, but because the last review was just so sudden, but yeah, here we go. This is my new background, completed with a bunch of movie posters that I have and these new lights that are hot as shit. But the main question is, where is that Hell or High Water poster? I really need one of those in my studio. Okay, so hell or high water, son. Oh my god, what did I just do? Go ahead, leave angry comments. I absolutely deserve that. So hell or high water follows the story of two brothers named Toby and Tanner. And after countless threats of the bank foreclosing their beloved family ranch, they set up a series of heist robbing banks that could hopefully bring a brighter future for their land. Now obviously, robbing banks at gunpoint is a crime. So here we have Texas Ranger named Marcus who is hell-bent to go after the two Texas brothers and bring them to justice. And knowing that it's a crime to rob from the banks, the two brothers must make these heists look very clean and untraceable as they do their best to not get caught. Now, as Toby and Tanner plot their final scheme of robbing particular banks, the Texas Ranger and the law is right on their tail as they could have a showdown between old and new philosophies of the West. Now, Hell or High Water is the newest film from David McKenzie, the director of films like Young Adam and Startup, and people think that he found his groove with Startup. Now, with crazy critical acclaim from Startup and huge praise from the Cannes Film Festival for this film, I was really looking forward to Hell or High Water because, like I've mentioned before guys, this summer has just filled with so many fucking disappointments. Now not only is Hell or High Water an amazing western heist thriller, but it's also one of the best movies of 2016. Like, it's doomed to be on my favorite list of the year. Because one of the main reasons is that you have an amazing and well-written script from Taylor Sheridan because it just perfectly encapsulates the struggle that some people have when they're put in the situation of poverty. But he takes it to the absolute extreme with these two characters, which in this case are the two brothers and they sort of go on this Robin Hoodish heist where they don't just rob from the rich and give it to the poor, but they keep it for themselves. But the screenplay manages to give both sides of the spectrum to where is it like you sympathize with the main characters, but at the same time, it gives the point of view from Jeff Bridges' character, and which kind of makes you second guess yourself. It was truly the battle of the two philosophies of the old and new West. It's like, yeah, you sympathize with the brothers and you really care about what they're going through, but at the same time, they're criminals and they need to be taken down. Not only was the script able to do that, but it also gave us a pretty damn entertaining heist movie packed with amazing characters, great performances from the cast all around. I was just amazed on what I saw. Because you have Chris Pine as the younger brother named Toby, who's this really restrained and well-mannered individual who has this particular reason as to why he's robbing the banks. And then you have Ben Foster as the older brother named Tanner, who gives an excellent performance as this really crazy, out of his mind ex-convict who seems like he's having a kick out of committing crimes more than his younger brother. But Chris Pine and Ben Foster have such amazing chemistry as these two men who just want to get out of the life that they previously lived. And rather than just looking at them as criminals, you really look at them as human beings. They were actual characters and where their background was really explored whenever they weren't robbing banks and whenever they were like banter back and forth, these two felt like they were actual brothers. And then you have Jeff Bridges as the Texas Ranger named Marcus who's just an all around badass. And I guess you can consider him the comic relief of the cast just because of how old school this guy really is. Because he has a partner played by Gil Birmingham and both give great performances by the way. And just hearing them banter back and forth on their philosophies was just absolutely absolutely hilarious because they would like poke fun at their races and how they were brought up and it was just cool because that's just how old school guys talk to each other. I mean yeah they cared about capturing the two brothers but at the same time they were human beings just like the two brothers and when they were given their philosophies and how they view things there was a point to it. The manhunt for the brothers in which these Texas Rangers go on is all around entertaining as hell because it feels like each bank robbery heist could be the one where the brothers finally get caught because each side is playing the game of wits while one one side's trying to outsmart the other, and then the other side is trying to catch up, and it's just it's something that needs to be experienced rather than me explaining to you, you know what I mean? Since the cinematography and the use of sound editing, whenever these bank robberies are taking place is A plus work, as you're able to get amazing camera work from certain getaways and other material that I don't want to spoil for this review, plus getting wide and beautiful landscape shots of the Texas land that really represents on what these characters are fighting for was just all around amazing. I just can't wait to experience once I see this again. Hell or High Water is one of the best westerns, if not the best western to come out out this decade and one of my favorites of 2016 because Hell or High Water is definitely absolutely legendary. While you guys are watching this, I'm gonna be robbing a bank at gunpoint.
like this almost like hey give me your money I'm gonna get killed oh my god okay guys have you seen hell or high water and what did you think about it and what is your favorite western that you've seen so far whatever it is leave it down below and as always you can follow me on Twitter Facebook Instagram and all that social media shit down below keep in contact with me don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always may the force be with you <laughs>